Welcome into BLTV Channel 6. I'm Brian Kell. We have reached out to many candidates throughout our service territory area that are in hotly contested races, and uh, we are glad to have one of those candidates here with us at this table at this time. 43rd District State Representative Paul Sherrill, welcome back to BLTV Channel 6. Thank you very much, and thank you to Ben Loman for putting this on for us. Tell us about you. Okay. Hello out there, everyone in the 43rd District. Uh, thank you for the opportunity today. Uh, I am State Representative Paul Sherrill, who represents the 43rd District, which is uh, all of Grundy County, about two-thirds of Warren, and all of White County. Due to the redistricting that we just had earlier this year, the new 43rd District will be all of Warren and all of White, which we will be uh, voting on at this time in August the 4th uh, primary. I'm married to my wife, uh, Miranda Sherrill, we have two children, our daughter Marley and our son Lee. Uh, I am a Christian uh, with conservative morals. I am the only true Republican candidate that is running for this position. My background is a former police officer and a small business owner. With abortion laws now being handled, uh, handed to the states, I should say, can you talk about where you fall on that subject and in what situations, incest, rape, life of the mother in danger, uh, and also, too, about the time frames of pregnancy, that is any of that okay to have an abortion? Okay, thank you. Tough, tough issue. To my understanding, uh, to what I've been taught and, and how I believe, Abortion is wrong because it is killing a baby that is inside of the mother's womb. A person that claims to be a doctor that performs abortions is a person without a heart. Doctors are trained and licensed to save a life, not to take a life. So we got to be very careful there what we do because that is a precious body from time of conception inside of that mother's womb. What are uh, switching now from abortion to gun laws? What are your thoughts on gun laws? Are they too loose, too restrictive, just right? I explain why your thoughts on where gun laws are today and where they should be maybe. As I have said in different places in my time, the gun is not the problem. We have people out here in our society that are sick. Uh, they have a mental health problem, some kind of problems that, uh, that they're uh, facing or taking on um, that are hurting a lot of our innocent people uh, here in the United States and wherever. We've got to somewhere or another control these people with these sicknesses then. Uh, as long as you, uh, you're in your right mind and you're obeying the law, you should have the right to own your gun or your weapon, ever how you choose to say it. I'm a firm supporter of the Second Amendment. Does Tennessee have a secure voting system? And if so, what can you tell people who don't believe that it is? Well, I feel uh, very... Uh, strongly to my knowledge of what I have learned since I've been as a state representative that our Secretary of State Trey Hargis our voting system is fair uh, when they ask to see your identification driver's license whatever for you to vote it shouldn't be no problem uh, and I believe our election systems is safe I believe we have a good election system in here in Warren County I, have, I believe we have a good one in White County, and I believe we have one a good, a good safe uh, election uh, system in the state of Tennessee. Over the past year, we've seen gas prices rise, we've seen food prices rise, and, and it, it's hit a lot of people in, in their pocketbooks, especially those that are lower income. Is there more the state can do to help lower income residents, and if so, what is it? W sure. We want to help people with low income. Uh, I do. I, I don't make a lot of money as a state representative. Um, so we want to help people here in Tennessee that hopefully we can work to bring in better paying jobs for people. 
Uh, we've, we've put a lot of money in training to try to help people if they want to go to school. We've tried to do that. We've tried to bring in good industry in the state of Tennessee. Uh, and here's something that's coming up uh, soon. Uh, Tax-free holidays is, is coming up uh, that will help with food, uh, clothing, and uh, school supplies for our children. Uh, also, we have uh, starting, I believe it is July, license plates renewals. Uh, is reduced to try to help people in the state of Tennessee. And we have many other resources that's out there trying to help people with low income. And if you have some kind of a need in, out there that uh, you need resources with, uh, please, please uh, call the office. Uh, my office number is 615-741-1963, and hopefully we can get you uh, to the department that you may need help with in whatever it is if you're having problems financially. Charter schools are being promoted by Governor Lee quite a bit, uh, Mr. Sherrill. Where do you fall on this issue, and is it a threat to school districts and teachers in, in the counties that you serve? Well, first of all, I just want to tell you, and I want to tell the folks out there in uh, Warren County and, and White County, that I'm a fully a supporter of public schools. I graduated from White County High School in 1977. My wife and my daughter graduated from a Christian school. Uh, and we want to take care of our public schools the best we can. Now, charter schools, to my understanding, is in Nashville and Memphis, one in Knoxville, two in Chattanooga. So in order for a charter school to come about, say, let's say Warren County or White County, the school, school board, or the superintendent of school, or both, has to be, they have to have a, somebody to ask for it to be happen. So it can be stopped and is stopped by our superintendent of school and our school board. So no problem, I don't believe at all, as far as Warren County or White County. Representative Sherrill, we thank you so much for, for coming here. We've got about five minutes. Uh, if you want to talk to the people out there as to why you're the best candidate to, in your case, maintain that seat in the 43rd District State Representative seat, I should say, please take this time to do so. Thank you very much. And, and again, thank you to all the folks out there listening, and thank you, Brian, for this opportunity. First of all, I believe in my heart this is what God wants me to do, be doing in my time of life. Second... I was elected as a state representative in 2016 in the 43rd district. Of course, that was at the time that was is Grundy, two thirds of Warren, and all of White counties. I have been reelected in 2018, 2020, and here we are as a candidate in 2022. God made this happen in my time of life. If you don't believe in miracles, you got a problem. I'm a, I'm a miracle sitting right here telling you I was first elected, and it was a miracle that I was, ha that I was elected. When people have a need out here in, in the district, I ask people, please call the office. Talk to Sherry, my assistant, uh, and we will try our best to call you back, and we'll try to help you with whatever need it might be. And again, I try to encourage people uh, and tell people, my number in the office is 615-741-1963. My home number is 931-935-8488. And I definitely ask for your prayers, support, and vote. And I, again, thank you so much uh, for what you've done for me and my family in this time of being elected as a state representative in the 43rd District. Representative Cheryl, thank you for joining us. And we want to thank you for also giving us a watch here on BLTV Channel 6. I uh, also want to mention that on Thursday, August 4th at 7 p.m., we will bring back live election coverage here on Channel 6 and 306 HD on BLTV. Also, too, our Ben Loman Connect Facebook page will have that going live, and our Ben Loman Connect YouTube channel will also have that same coverage live. So lots of different ways to be able to catch that coverage. We thank you for watching BLTV Channel 6. We'll see you soon.